What's going on guys, it's Des again and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I'm going to talk to you guys about the 5 top jobs that are available in the Army Reserves. So let's go. Alright guys, so let's kick this off. The top 5 jobs that are available for you in the Army Reserves. Job number 5, Service Battalion. So the Service Battalion is an integral part of the Army. Basically, when you're in the service battalion, there's a variety of trades that are available to you. If you could become a supply tech. So as a supply tech, your job and your role is to make sure the frontline elements get the food, the fuel, the ammunition they need to carry out their job. So as a supply tech, not only are you doing that kind of task, you'll also be able to supply, replace any items that we need uh, supply or any of the elements that need certain types of supplies brought to them okay so service battalion is job number five job number four artillery the guns the guns the guns so the main role of the artillery is to provide indirect fire to the forward elements of any type of battle type group so your job as an artillery man now it's person is to be part of a gun gun debt so within a gun debt, you could be either the, the person to load the shells, to fire, to line the gun. You could also be in charge. So as part of an artillery unit, you're going to be working with the C3 105 millimeter howitzer. That is the main artillery piece for the Army Reserves. So you're going to go to the artillery school and you're going to learn everything you need to know about that specific type of gun, the type of ammunition you're going to use. Also, you'll be able to go onto your conversion course to the M777 155 millimeter howitzers, which is primarily used by the regular army. There, you're gonna learn how to be part of a, like again, a, a gun crew, and you're gonna work with the one, the 155, right? So that is job number four. Job number three, combat engineers. So combat engineers have specific rules. Their main role is to help the friendly forces move, live, and fight on the modern battlefield. So as a combat engineer, you're going to learn a variety of different types of tasks. From learning how to use various types of uh, tools, demolition type training. You're going to learn everything about how to clear routes, clear buildings, force protection, things like that. You will also learn how to use the assault boats to do amphibious type crossings. You will also become a specialist in bridging. So those are the main tasks as combat engineers. There are many other tasks within the combat engineer trade that you can actually qualify for. Okay, whether it's ropey, which is water purification, heavy equipment, all the bulldozers, trucks like that, that we have in the uh, combat engineers. You can get advanced bridging and things like that. You can do also geomatics, which is now a big integral part of the combat engineer trade. So that is job number three, combat engineers. Job number two, armored. Within the Army Reserves, all Army units have a reconnaissance task. So they are called Armored Recce. As a member of an Armored Reconnaissance unit, you're going to get trained on the two, tif two types of vehicles that the Armored units use. One is the Glendon Wagon, or as we like to call it, the G-Wagon, which is a small militarized Jeep that has a crew of three. You have your driver, your crew commander, and your gunner. That's going to be the first type of vehicle that you're going to qualify on when you uh, become an Armored Crew member. The next vehicle that you will be qualified and be able to operate is the Tactical Armored Patrol Vehicle, or as we like to call it, the TAP-V. It's a bigger vehicle. It holds a crew of five. You have the driver, crew commander, remote weapon station gunner, and two dismounted recce members. It is a bigger vehicle. You will get qualified on whichever aspect of that vehicle you're going to be operating. And that's what you're going to learn as an armored reconnaissance member. So as an armored reconnaissance member, your job is to basically go out and gather information about the enemy and bring it back and disseminate it, pass it up to military intelligence who will comprise and put together plans for the battlefield commander. So that's job number two. And finally, job number one, you guessed it guys, infantrymen. So 
an infantryman, as most people who are unknown about the, or know, don't know a lot about the military, infantry is what you hear most, most about. So as infantrymen, your job is pretty much to seize and hold grounds on a modern battlefield. In the Army Reserves, infantry units are primarily light infantry, okay? Which means we don't have any heavy tracked or wheeled armored fighting vehicles. We, re we rely on our feet and some uh, transport type trucks. So in the Army Reserves, the, the majority of the infantry units are light infantry but now a lot of the infantry units now have what we call secondary roles so if you want to be a parachutist there's a reserve unit that has a parachute type capability along with mountain operations and um reconnaissance you'll some uh, reserve infantry units you'll have uh dfs direct fire support platoons which will have 50 caliber machine guns and c16 40 millimeter grenade launchers so if you're part of that unit you can get qualified on those two types of weapon systems. There's reserve units that have assault pioneers. So an assault pioneer guys basically is a infantryman trained as a combat engineer. And then you're going to learn everything from demolitions to using a chainsaw to using type assault boats to building uh, non-standard type little bridges. Other uh, infantry units will have for example, mortar platoon. So you can be a member of a mortar platoon debt, which is the 81 millimeter mortar that we use in the army reserves. So you can get qualified on the 81 millimeter mortar and be part of a mortar debt within an infantry unit. So guys, there it is. Those are the five top jobs available to you in the army reserves. I would suggest you get do some research, look into those different types of trades, figure out what trade you wanna, you're interested in, and to apply, when you apply to the uh, to their Army Reserves, you let your recruiter know that this is the type of job, this is the unit I want to be in. All right, guys, thank you very much. I hope you guys like this video. Give me that big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please, guys, subscribe below. Also, hit that indicator bell so you know when I'll be posting more videos. And if you'd like to po put a comment in the comment session, guys, please do. All right, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope that you like this video and we'll see you in the next one.